What's, What's good, y'all? It's the new Machette, Sariat, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American reaction. Super excited about this video. If you're new to us, and we're new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit that subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 200k. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family without further ado. Let's get into the video. Let's get it. Like a tooth, a big tooth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for us as uh, none of our people, it's really important for us to have fire. Um, fire is very healing, um, and it's important that we have this fire when we come to our significant places. I was going to let this fire burn down, and um, once it gets a bit of heat in it, I'm going to uh, put some of the green leaves on. We use these green leaves. Um, as part of our ceremony to warn away bad spirits or bad energy that follows us around as we move through country. So mm. it's important that we get rid of that evil and that we're That welcome. reminds me of sage. Mm -hmm. Like when the guys be saging and everything, they all the ladies put it around their house and they use it like a, 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 a as a term of incense. You know what I'm saying? And even back in the day, we was kind of sort of doing that with the incense. incense. Yeah. You think about it. Y'all know with the Afro picks. And the afros and yeah. mom put the incense on. You have to go get the broom and the dustpan. Uh -huh. Pick up all the ashes that right. fell on the floor. Yeah, <laughs> man. That's exactly what he's talking about. Uh, the people of the land that we're in and, and let them acknowledge them, us and us as people. So for, for us, you know, fire is timeless. Mm. Wherever we go, we light fire. It's important too when we have fire that we think about our elders, our past, our present, who we are, where we come from and where we're going, you know. It's it's a great tool for teaching as well, sitting around and talking. I've got different leaves in here. I've got uh, peppermint and I've got the uh, cauliflower bush. This is really important in, in our ceremony that we have this one. Getting a bit of heat now, so yeah. If I'm not mistaken, um, during the smoking ceremony, it's usually a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. That's around. Um, I, and I feel like he's just giving us a taste of how it goes now. Right. Um, and schooling us on just how they, you know, use the fire and the things of why they burn fire. And I feel like they got some good reasons. Um, and I, you know, th these days, like you, you can sort of use count. Camping, for instance, like when people take a fire, they all get around with family, their little blanket. No, they be trying to keep warm and see each other. Well, not just that, <laughs> but they do have like these stories. They have conversations, mm -hmm. and people get to vibe out with one another. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, and that's what I was gonna get to next. Like, what are the different types of gatherings people have for these smoking ceremonies? Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Like, right. is it? Go ahead, baby. <laughs> like, is it, you know, to welcome in new life? Is it, you know, after someone passes away, a nah, graduation, facts. housewarming? Right. Let us know. And I know there's even probably dances that go along with this, too. Oh, yeah. That that would remind me of Hawaii's culture. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hey! Nigga, no, man. Bye, man. Now that I've spoke, my spirits, they know that I'm here now and they know that I've 
let go of all that evil around me. And now I'm welcome. So is this hmm. something that you all do when y'all have visitors come? Because um, cause how he just performed it, well, not performing it, it wasn't a performance, but how he demonstrated it, um, that's what I would take from it. Yeah, 100%. Um, I heard Jay-Z say that you can't judge someone else's culture or religion mm -hmm. and, you know, call it blasphemy or whatever it is without actually experiencing it. You know what I'm saying? Like diving into it. And I feel like when we offer you guys these uh these visuals that you guys send into the so we can display to the world, you know, it, it's important to take in the information that they're offering. Um, right, right. Because it could be your neighbor. You know, people move all over the world. Mm -hmm. And they can be cultured in this way. And meanwhile, you have no understanding of what this is. Right. right. And it could be just your neighbor sitting on side of you that can help you understand this type of stuff, you know. So it's important right. to just have your your headspace open to these type of things and you mm -hmm. know, be aware of what's around you, who's around you. Um and respect for their different religions and cultures and stuff like that. Right, because people are quick to call something that someone else do weird. It's not yeah, yeah. weird. You just need to understand people. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. that's what makes the world a better place. Understanding people. Nah, facts, facts. Right. So this is cool. Let us know more about it. Um, I feel like we haven't reacted to like an Aboriginal video in some time. We would love to react some more. So continue to send them in. Hmm. All right. We hope you guys enjoy this video with us. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.